Tau YouTube, Dorito Lucha Cabre here, and today we're going to go ahead and slap together the Tau Tau DB17. DB17, 125 cc's worth of raw power, people, and today we're going to show you how to put this beast together and run it down the street for its initial test run. So, before we go any further, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> This off here. And yeah, like I said, not made in China. It is still round. So this will be a good piece. Okay. Wait, we're going to take okay. the bike and we're going to put the bike up on top of the bike. The bike goes up here, people. Don't put the wheel up there. The wheel goes on the bike later. So let's go ahead and get that done. What you have to do is you got to get it loose from everything. you got to get it loose from everything. So we got to tap this bolt right through here. Here, I'll pick it up. Let you pull the bolt up. All right. I want you to blow that nut. That nut. Speaking of nut. All right, what are we going to do here with this beast, Dorito? Gonna pick it up, set it up on the bucket, so we can get the tires on, get the bars on, get the uh, swing arm down, all that. Basically, so we can get it on. Get it together. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this, shall we? All right. Careful, there's a big metal thing right underneath of you. Oh, what's that, Dorito? I don't know. What is it? Oh, can you hold that for about ten minutes? Shit. I got some stuff to talk about. Remember when you were a kid and your parents bought you a high a lot? High a lie? You get a free one with every purchase of Tau Tau. 125DB17! And you can play with all your friends that get one too! So, highlight on! Alright, so we're gonna get this thing straightened up and then we'll get right back to you guys, alright? Looks great! Let's get it together now! got our DB17 up on our highly sophisticated holding device, we can go ahead and put our front tire on, which I've taken the liberty of doing already. Now, there's a few things that you need to look at while putting this tire on. One is making sure that the brake rotor goes into the brake caliper. Make sure it slides in smoothly. Now there's this little plastic piece that you got to take out of the brake pads is holding them in there so they don't fall out during shipping. That would really suck, people. So thank Tau Tau for doing that for you. Make sure you dispose of this properly. You may need it later. Thank you, Tau Tau. Thank you, Tau Tau. Now, a couple other things. There's two different size spacers on this front axle, okay? The larger of the two spacers goes on the same side as your brake caliper. Okay, it's very important. Otherwise, it'll cock your wheel. Nobody likes to have their wheel cocked. Do they, Dorito? No. No, that also sucks. So, the smaller of the two goes on the right side of the bike. Then you can take your lock nut. All right, now we got our Loctite. We'll put just a drop of Loctite on there because we like things to be tight. We like, everybody likes a tight screw. Tight nuts are awesome. So, once we've got our little dab on there, just a little uh, drop on there is all you need to secure your nut. Because everybody likes a tight nut. But um, psh. all right. Make sure you tighten that securely. You don't want your wheel flying off as you're going down the trail, people. I'm just getting all these stickers off. Let's make it look pretty. Ain't too much to do on this thing. It actually comes to comes assembled. Pretty much, you just got to slap on the tire, do the swing arm, change the oil. It's ready to go. All right. Tau Tau has also blessed us with protection, people. Remember, remember, always wrap your seat before you seat your meat. Okay, that's very important. When riding this thing, you don't want nothing to happen to your seat, okay? That's why we want to keep it like new condition at all times. So make sure you don't dispose of your handy condom wrappering around your seat. All right, now we can go on to our handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. <laughs> no handlebars. All right. You guys are having a real problem seeing me, and I'm having a real issue of kneeling down like this all times. So what we're gonna do is take a quick break here. 
applause for the cause for America so we can relocate our camera and get this show back on the road. So join us in a moment. Show you. Don't forget America. Squirrel. Oh, welcome back, people. Next step is to put the handlebars on. And those just sandwich in between these already installed brackets that come with the Tau Tau DB17 125 beast that we're assembling. So what we do is we take the bottom part off both of these and set them on the bottom. Now you have your He-Man Dorito, set the bars down on top of them. And then you can... He-Man. He-Man over here. He-Man Woman Haters Club. Now, you take a little dab of the, of the Loctite again. Blue Loctite. Not the red stuff. You'll never get it back apart if you have to. And then you sandwich the stuff all together here. Making sure that you lose a bracket in the meantime. Now, once you've got that retrieved, you can do the same for the other side. Remember, a little dab will do you, people. It's like Brill Cream. You remember that? Your dad used to use that stuff. All right. Now we sandwich this slide in, too. And put it all down there. There's little, there's little knobs, little serrations on this handlebar that you need to line up with the bracket so it doesn't slide on you when you pull on it. Trust me, you're going to want to pull on this thing a lot when you've got it out on the trails. I do all the time. Maybe some of you have seen my previous adventures. That's pretty hairy. I got to tell you. Maybe some of you can join me on it next time. It's the Wonderings Rings with Loosh. Don't forget to check it out, guys. Tuesdays at 8! <laughs> We're not going to tell you which Tuesday that will be for all. All right. Let's... At 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. We're not sure yet. <laughs> Remember to get your nuts started before you tighten them. Which nuts? These nuts! All right, now we've got our nuts. Those nuts. These nuts started. So we can tighten them up while Dorito goes on to do some more important work. Here, you take the Loctite, Dorito. I no longer need it. We're gonna go ahead and put the highlight paddle on. Some other people know it as a fender, but we're gonna call it a highlight paddle. Makes me think of Tron or something like that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get that on, shall we? <laughs> hey. hey, can you get that for me, Dorito? Sure. Thanks, man. All right, this is we got the handlebars tight. You check the brake. Brake is good. Clutch feels okay. Everything seems to be free. Free 93. Free 99. The best price there is. Now then, should we sit here and watch Dorito as he sticks his fender on? It's or should we mess with him? Stop it. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Call in now with your opinion. Okay, the best boats win. Do we, do we let Dorito do his job, or do we mess with him? <laughs> I just thought I had Let us go. All right. And then back to serious business, people. This is serious business here. We don't have time to mess around. It's hot in here. We could try and mess with this rear shock while Dorito is over there messing with the front fender. You don't have to take the existing bolt out of your mono shock. This is a mono shock, people. Now, you know what mono means? That's right. It means you've been kissing the wrong girls. You used to get that stuff in high school. Careful, you don't want to get that from your DD-117. Not 125, DD-17. Now then, Let's get you all messed up around here. Okay, Bad I can loot. see it's not going to line up, people. Bad luge. Bad luge. All right. But seriously, mono shock means there's only one. Mono, not stereo, means you hear it out of both ears, but one means there's only one mono. So we're going to have to wait until we can sit Dorito on here to, uh, to compress the suspension. Because you know, I'm just too lazy to do it myself. Look, we also have something here you can't see because it's behind the bucket. It's called a kickstand. Oh, crap. It's Mrs. Dorito. Hey, check it out. How many lumps do you want?
guys, now that we got this beast off our bucket, we're gonna have Dorito here lift up on our frame and we're gonna line up our swing arm to our mono shock and install our bolt. All right, so let's line it up, Dorito. And let's get this going. Easy, cowboy. Easy, down a little bit, down a little bit. Down a little bit. Oh, almost, a little bit more. A little bit more, you're almost there. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're in, Dorito, we're in. Can you feel it? Can you just feel it, Dorito? We're in. Okay, you can let it down. Now you can see the right height of this beast. All right, now then. America. America. Now then, we can go over here, and I'll get our lock tight and start tightening up our swing arm bolt while Dorito takes you through the next step. I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil in this and get some oil in there. Um, the fan 1701 stretched it and I was reading a couple of things. And so we're going to go for that. There's your uh, ratchet. Thanks, Rito. I don't know what size socket you're going to need. It's this size, whatever it comes with. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. So let's go ahead and get the oil dropped. Drop the oil! And get that done. Go ahead and pull that cap so it'll drain a lot quicker. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. What's it smell good. like? Smell it. I don't want to smell your smell finger. My finger. No, no, that's not going to happen today. Come on, smell my finger. I was born at night, not last night. Smell my finger, Luge. All right, guys, now that we've got our swing arm tightened up and everything back on its level ground. I need to put the brake lever on. The rear brake lever. But it's fairly simple. You slide that on there like so. Okay? What you'll have is a little clevis pin in the back here. And you'll line up the pin with the hole. Now you shove the pin in the hole. After that, you put your cotter pin in the other hole. So that you see a repetition going on here, people. Stick it in the hole, stick in the pin. Stick the pin in the hole, stick it in the pin. See? Sometimes, even the looch has a little trouble finding the hole. There it is. Once you bend your tabs over, then you're all set to go. Okay, and then I've got all the oil drained out. I'm going to go ahead and slap some oil in. They say it takes a little bit under a quart. Um, so we're going to go ahead and slap that in there and see where we go from there. Um, let's see here. We're going with it half a quart, and then we're going to dip it and check it just to make sure. This comes with a return spring, too, people. Don't forget to put that on. We'll grab a different phone. You want it to be returning, don't you? What would you call again, right? All right. Now to top everything off, we take the big washer and stick it on the front. And use our other cotter pin to hold everything in place. Now you have a rear brake, people. Very important, because once you get this beast going, you're going to have to stop it sometime. Yeah, you're going to ride it, aren't you, Luch? I don't know! <laughs> all right. Everything's looking pretty good. we got all our tools strewn around our feet. That's where they belong, people. We'll deal with them later. Actually, Dorito will deal with them later. I just spilled. Dorito, you're a messy kind of guy. All right, people, check it out. It comes equipped with a couple of uh, uh, zip ties. So, you want to take the zip ties and make sure everything is tied up out of place, into place, not out of place. 
So nothing gets lost in the melee. He said melee. I don't know about any melee. Is that like around June or March? That's May Day! Oh, May Day. That's what you need to call for after you ride this thing for a bit. Oh, 911. Yeah! Oh, well, let's get on with it then. Shall we? We shall. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna dip this. Now they say always tighten the dipstick all the way down. What'd you call me? You a dipstick. Oh, all they right. say tighten the dipstick all the way down to check the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and go from there. I put a half a quart in, and I am using a Fulton set synthetic motorcycle oil, but it's a four-stroke, and it says ultimate wet clutch transmission and engine protection. So that's again what Fan was saying was use that type of oil. Wow, it's not even reading on the stick yet. So, let's go ahead and put some more in. Alright, people. This is looking pretty good here. Got all our stickers off and have exposed beautiful markings underneath. This will make sure to confuse any predators that may be chasing Dorito down the trails. Do you want to pull off the Jimmy too? I don't know. I'm not into that. I've never done that kind of thing before, see? I'm not very experienced with stuff like that. So, since it's your tow towel, I'll let you rub it the way you want. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. Okay, we're getting to read. What else we need? Gotcha! He said, hey, pause it! Must be important! Let's find out what he wants, okay? Time to put in some petrol! While he's putting in the gas, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the tools, so we'll go ahead and get back to you guys in a minute, alright? Alright! Dorito, hop on this thing, and let's see if it'll start up! Okay guys, so here's the ad from SuperiorPowerSports.com for the Tau Tau DB17 125 dirt bike. Um, it sells for $859.95, and you can actually get a hold of them um, on the number up there, which is 866-492-2643, or you can go ahead and order it through your website if you're interested. Um, call over there to Jim Garza, speak to him, tell him Dorito and Lucha Cabre sent you, maybe he can help you out. But check it out, and I uh, hope you guys like the video. I really hope if you get the dirt bike, you guys enjoy it, because we really do. Talk to you guys later. Rock on. Here we go, guys. Dorito's going to get this going now. Firing it up. Yeah, there we go. Initial run for Dorito. Let's make this happen, Captain. Big man, little bike. This is his best car. Woo! Off he goes.
117, Luch. This is just a monster of a 125. It's got lots of torque, lots of bottom end. You saw how he got it up on one wheel. This thing's great. A lot of clearance, a lot of fun, great for kids of all ages. I'm glad you guys stuck around for the build. We had fun, I hope you did too. Right now I'd like to send a shout out to a couple cool people out there. We got MX Guru out there. You rock, brother. We got Sandra Mama Sweener. Yeah, you rock, you know you do. We got Link. Keep it linked up, Link. We got Duke Small Engines. Duke is the Duke of Small Engines. Let me tell you, you rock, Duke. On your tech. They are on their tech. I'm telling you, these people are great. And one last one, Pusa Studios. Greatest, greatest artist you've ever seen. Rock on, guys. Thanks for joining us again. This has been Dorito. And Lucha Cabre. And we want you all to rock on. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button and come on back and see us. Rock on! You! I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could touch the ground. That'd be great. Sucks being three foot nine. Four foot six. <laughs> I ain't giving too much credit. <laughs>